guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shanique Nicole. If you're new, if you're a trainer, a subscriber, hey child, welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm doing a get ready with me slash Q&A. So I ask people to ask me questions and I have it on my phone and I'll be answering it while I'm doing my makeup just to spice it up a little bit. So let me get the question. So first thing I do with my makeup is my eyebrows. And the first question is, what's your skin routine? Because your skin be glowing. Um, my skin routine is, I showed it last time in my last video, if you can see that. I use this black African soap that I make for my brand, this Yaddle Enterprises. And I use Vaseline on my face. And I use... Um, clean and clear face wash sometimes and I switch it up and video videos um, a rose toner spray to even out my black tones on my face the only time my face breaks out is when I'm on my period other than that we're good so yeah that's what I use I don't use nothing crazy I use the most smallest amount of things on my face I use like all natural oils and all that like I use my brand products because it's not my brand, it's Vaseline and Clean and Clear. Uh, it's really face wash. So I should be linking them down below. Um, like it's not in the yeah. So let me get to my girls. This is from my little brand. So, what made you want to start your YouTube Well, what made me want to start my YouTube channel is I always like watching YouTube and I feel like. Yeah, I could do that. And people always ask me all the time, well, how do your skin look like that? How do your hair look like that? How did you do this? So I'm like, oh, you want to be in the hair. 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 You It seemed like a very fun concept. I feel like if I was a little more consistent, my video would definitely be better. Like I enjoy making videos. The only thing I don't like about YouTube is I don't like um, I don't like editing <laughs> my videos. But I do like I'm looking at a mirror over here as if you see me looking. I don't like editing. Like I just don't. But I do like making the videos. It's editing the videos. Don't worry. It says what makes you so passionate about hair slash Getting, getting into a hair business. If you didn't know, I do have a hair brand called Bachi Unicole, which is like a collection, like, it's like a collection from my brand, Busy Out Enterprise, so if you want to check out my hair, it's really good hair girl, it's like down below. The brand is Busy Out Enterprise, but the hair like collection is called Bachi Unicole, and I am Bachi Unicole. And, um, what makes me passionate about hair? It's just like I think it's just because I've seen hair growing up so much. Like my mom does hair. She doesn't do hair professionally, but she does hair. So it's just like I always wanted to be like kind of like me, you know, little king, watch your mom. I want to be like my mom. So I was always into hair, and I've been like that since I was younger. I never wanted to walk around too crazy. Like I, anybody who knows me know I do not play about my hair. If you see me and my hair look crazy, I must be really sick. I must be really not in the mood. Like, like, I must be really going through something that I'm letting myself go outside and crazy like that. And I don't play that. I never play that. Like, I don't go outside with a scarf on. I don't go outside with a bonnet on. Like, this is not what I do. But do you see me outside looking crazy like that? It's literally like I just don't. Like, there's something wrong with me. Like, I just always like to have my hair like, together. That's just me. Cause look, when you look good, you feel good. Like, yeah. All right. Next question is: If you could live anywhere else besides Philly, where would you live? I'd like to live anywhere besides Philly. Cause Philly is where like this city is like the people don't really support you here. I'll say that. That's all I can really say about people who don't support you here. Um, unless you're like really popular. Like, 
it is what it is. That's just how the city is. If I could live somewhere else, I'll probably say probably like Atlanta. But like, yeah, probably like Atlanta. I would say LA, but I don't know. I'm not LA. I don't know. I'll probably say Atlanta. Cause it seems like Atlanta. I'm from Atlanta. People support you great. Like they, they really look out for their people. And I'm not saying people have to look out for you because they're from where you're from, but you know, that little push definitely does help people from your city. Like, they go hard. Like, Atlanta really goes hard for anybody that's from that city. They find out they want to help you even more. Like, I'm pretty sure it's that's not like that there, but from what I've been seeing, it seems like they go hard for each other. What's your dream vacation? My dream vacation is to go to like Jamaica or like Hawaii, like somewhere like tropical with like a spa and like rub. You see, I don't like the ocean, but I guess to see the ocean, like one of those beach houses. Like, yeah. I don't like, I'm a type of person, I don't think like, hey y'all, let's go to the beach. I don't like beach. But I think if I was in somebody else's beach, I just would be like, you know, another place. That water be looking beautiful. That water look beautiful. And I feel like I deserve it. I deserve to be around some some beautiful water. Like it's just like a I don't know. I would say Hawaii or like Jamaica. Jamaica seems like a very fun. A lot of people I know wanna go there right now, but it's just like I don't know. Like I wanna go to Jamaica if I got my life together. And I know. Uh, I'm going here, I got that money, I got that. I'm going to have fun, I ain't going to worry about nothing, I go back home. Some funds ain't correct in Philly, I'm going to get to Jamaica. Get your life together, Frank, before you go on trips. Like, that's just me. I know some people just feel like life is short, that is true. I'm sorry. I like to have myself together. Time I record is a net in my room. Like it just wanna, it just wanna make a debut. Like it just, it just gotta, it just gotta be in my face. Like, oh my god, my battery's gonna die. Literally, my camera says out of space, and now my battery's gonna about to die. Like today, I'm really working on me, guys. But whatever. Let me go to the next question. The next question is. Do you plan on getting married in the near future? If so, what is your idea of what is? Yes, I do want to get married, and that is whenever my boyfriend wants to propose to me. And um, my dream wedding is a big way. I just want my whole family peaceful. I want all my family there. I want a buffet style uh, reception. My wedding. I don't want no little kids under the age of five at my wedding. Because if you cry, you gotta hit the bell. I don't want to hear nobody crying during the wedding reception. <laughs> I don't want no one coming to my way and no sneakers. Um, I don't have that many friends, but I do want my the friends I do have to be up there, different hairstyles, nice gowns. Like I hate the little ugly wedding dress and stuff. Like that is so ugly. Like uh, I want my wedding party to look nice too. Like that doesn't make sense, you know give them like ugly dresses like I don't give people like that but um yeah my reception gonna be popping my little dance number my boyfriend dance I dance I just want something big in France something that says I was here Beyonce <laughs> like I just want a really big way I want a big way up these dark microphone these eyelids gonna do very simple um eyeshadow because it's not my birthday it's my sister's birthday and the next question is what's one or two items that you feel like you couldn't live without the first thing is water i cannot live without water i'll be panicking i need water i'm thirsty water some of her water I want water for everything. I need water. I guess the second thing would be just one item. I guess my phone. 
this because, you know, you need to be contact with everybody, so. Yeah, I guess my phone. Water in my phone. That sounds crazy. Well, yeah. I got water in the phone, I can survive. <laughs> So now I'm gonna take this brown. No, what am I? I want army fatigue. I want this orange gonna gray. I don't think it will. I'm gonna take that orange. Do I do a little green number? Ooh. I don't, no, 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 no. I'm gonna do calm. I say calm. Yeah, I'm gonna do calm. How do you manage your time with family, friends, while also working on your business, brand, and making YouTube content? Um, I don't. <laughs> It is so hard to see my family. It's so hard to spend time with everyone without feeling frustrated because I don't have time to do YouTube and that's how I would neglect YouTube because I'll either be talking to my aunt, talking to my mom, or out with my boyfriend on the road. And it just was like, I just now recently just like, no, you gotta buckle down, you gotta do your work. You have to push harder with the YouTube if you want it to work. If you want your dreams to work, you have to put effort into it. So I literally just have to, I just literally have to stay focused. Like, I really do. And then when it comes to like, um, my business, it's like, well, I opened that. So I guess we spend the time at that time, but it's all really hard. But I try to have a schedule. Like my schedule is like weekends with boyfriend, weekdays if I'm out on the road with him. If I'm on the road with him. Weekends with my parents and my aunt and my family, and then like a week with him. And then Wednesdays is my business days. So like I do all my business like planning and all that on Wednesdays. I try to edit on, I try to film videos on Mondays, or like any day I have free, and try to make like a couple content at once. And then I try to uh, edit on Tuesdays, and I, ooh, child, me adding that extra day that like I did, that's what been killing me, but I try to edit like Saturday or Tuesday, Saturday for Tuesday, do the rest of the week for Friday, I'm about to miss this water today, but look, life be life. Okay, I'm gonna take this off. Alright, next question here. If you could spend a day with one celebrity, who would it be? For Brown. Chris Brown seems like he can have a party. Like, he seems like he's fun to hang around. He seems like he can get into anywhere. He probably can. He probably, like, you know. Show you a good time. I ain't talking about nothing crazy. I'm just like, as a friend. Like, he will seem like he can just show you, like, around. And he seems like he's just energetic. You know? He seems like he has, like, a genuine art. You know? Besides doing what you do now, if you could switch your craft to something different, what would it be? I would say. I guess my craft is like beauty and hair and stuff like that. If I could, I'd probably switch to, I guess I'd probably switch to dancing. Like if you know me, I used to be a dancer. Not the, uh, the stripper, but no, I'm talking about, uh, I mean, I've never done stripper. I was a actual dancer, I went to perform art school and everything. Like I was a chiller, I was a dancer. Um, I'd probably either be a dancer or a singer. Like, yeah, yeah I'd be something like that. Like a performer. Okay, so my camera had died. Now we're right back to it. Um, I think I'm going to do a cut crease. I'm really taking forever to do this. But it says, what is your secret talent that you have but no one knows? I guess my secret talent is that, um, I do poetry when I'm like stressed out and I don't know if that's a secret or not, but I guess. I mean, a lot of people don't know why I do that, but yeah, I do poetry when I'm like stressed out. Um, 
this cut crease is not about to be the smoothest looking cut crease ever because um, I am literally shaky hands right now and I don't know why. Are you giving shaky shakes? I don't know what that's about. It says, uh, the next one is, what's your favorite food? My favorite food? It's fried chicken, macaroni and cheese, baked macaroni and cheese, broccoli, and cabbage. It says, the next one says, what is your zodiac sign? Um, I'm Aquarius. Of February, Aquarius. The water for the night the, the best zodiac sign ever. You know? My grandma was in Aquarius. It just kind of crazy, but. <laughs> See how this works out. I'm gonna set it with some powder. I'm gonna get all I'm gonna use this fancy setting powder. This setting. I should have used my lighter powder. I think I'm rushing, which I really don't need to rush because it's so early. Dinner knows I'm trying to throw up. I'm gonna take one to sit on my face, but grab it a long time today. So we need this to last. Oh, this cut crease is not even right over here. Oh well, we're gonna make it work. Like I said, it ain't my birthday. That's gonna be my move all day. It's not my birthday. It's not my birthday. Yeah. As long as I look presentable for my sister, you know? It's not my birthday. And the next one is who inspires you the most? I would say who inspires me the most? I guess every woman in my family because they all been through this stuff. My mama, my auntie, my grandma. Yeah. What keeps you motivated? That's a hard question. I don't know. I think um, I definitely lose motivation all the time. I guess it's just like a, a I guess this is weird to say, but I guess myself. Like, I know a lot of people in my family definitely motivate me, but I think like my biggest motivation is myself. That sounds weird and selfish, but I think it's me like sometimes I, like when I'm sad or whatever, I'll look at like an old video of myself and I'll sit there and be like, why ain't you like this girl in there? Like, what happened to you? Why you not like her? What made you change? And then I just feel like, you know what? You gotta get up, you gotta pray. And, um, I just keep praying, talking to the Lord, definitely is a, is a huge motivation for myself. And then I just get up and be like, you can't procrastinate no more. You're literally wasting your life. Get up and make that video. Get up and do what you need to do. Shut up. Where it is? What did orange? I'm not a little crazy. Is it given... Where you think you're going? Is it giving money? I know y'all really can't see. I can't see. Is it giving money? It's giving when you're going. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have put it on my hand. I'm gonna do smoke. I was trying to do cut. See, maybe I should do smoky. And smoke it out. Don't dare on the brain though. <sighs> All right, am I playing on my face? Am I wasting this makeup right now? Given strength, it's given Tiana, Princess, and Miss Frog. Yeah, it's a given. It's a given. I don't never wear this color. When I wear this palette, I only use the orange, the yellow, and the brown. I never use this purple. I use this red sometimes. I use this one time. I don't use these greens right here, and I think I'm gonna use the greens. Cause I, I started using this and I'm a little scared. Cause why would I do that? Why would I use this? I look scurry. Well, I probably should have wiped this off. But we in here now. We in here like um somewhere. There's not what we could do unless I just go wipe my whole face off. And do you think I want to do that? Oh. Maybe I should have put this orange on. Like the color is beautiful. 
But y'all might not see because I might look like a crazy person right now. But the color is definitely beautiful. Uh, maybe not beautiful for me, but the color beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use this. This teal green. I'm scared. Why do I do this? Why did I just play on my face like this? And why is it coming off right here? Some day. Uh -huh. I just wiped all that off of my face. Um, so I want a lottery, um, so I want to take care of my family, for two, I'll probably buy me a nice house, invest some money into like, some stocks and stuff, I'm probably real smart about it, but i definitely take care of my family first, um, let's see, lashes, do you prefer strip or individuals, uh, strips, what, would you ever get plastic surgery, no, but when I was younger, I did want to have plastic surgery. I never told no one, but I wanted plastic surgery on my nose. I hated my nose. It was so flat, and it doesn't have any bridge to it. It's like a very, very flat nose, and I always wanted the nose that was like... I was very slimmer, but like had like the bridge part. Do you have any tattoos? Or do you, and if you do, what is it? And do you want any tattoos? No, I do not have any tattoos at all. None. Um, I don't want any tattoos. I used to want I have a dragon tattoo. I don't want it anymore. Um, I used to want like a bee tattoo, like up here. Don't want it no more. I just don't think there's anything I really will want on my body for the rest of my life. Um, if I was to get a tattoo now, the only ones that be like kind of getting me is I would kind of want one like either right here or like right here. Or if I was to be really there, I would get like small tattoos like one right here, um, one right here, one right here, one right here. Like I would just get like small dainty tattoos all over my body, but I don't really have tattoos, so I'm not going to get any tattoos. This looks really crazy. That's what says, do you have any piercings and <laughs> do you want any more and where? I have piercings, I have three piercings in my ear right here. I have one up here, I have two over here, I have two right here, um, I have one in my belly. I want my tongue and I want, uh, I don't know, lately I've been seeing this and I'm trying to think about it, but I'll be saying I don't like it too, that. Piercing, but I'm thinking about it. I wasn't gonna do it, girl. I just was thinking about it. I need to get a third one over here, and I want to get the bar in my ear. I'm gonna blend it out. I'm gonna put this in the front, put it out with that. They said, what reality show would you go on? I would go on Love and Hip Hop. Sounds crazy, but I would go on Love and Hip Hop. People be making it all that show. Love and Hip Hop can like, um, drama, but I'll probably be that girl that people go to on the show. They ain't got no drama, and she just be catching up on her little Small stuff, a little story line, really small, but I'm gonna wear these, um, Mrs. Right lashes from my brand. You can go the link down below to get you yours. These are my favorite pair of lashes. Okay. My 
my lashes are on I find my face now let's get into the makeup um, I took I did basically almost all the questions and I only did my eyebrows and my eyes yeah Next question is, how old are you? I'm 26. What's your top three songs right now? Uh, Lauryn Hill, X Factor, uh, Coco Jones, ICU, and Smoking Out the Window by Bruno Mars. So let me set these real quick. It says, are you an introvert or extrovert? Extrovert. I'm an introvert. I am very to myself. I am very to myself. I can be an extrovert. I was an extrovert until I had anxiety. Well, not completely, because I've definitely always been the house body, but I definitely was more out, very independent. I was to be myself, but and I definitely like that. Uh, I like to be in my own space. Or around people that I want to be around, but I'm not that. I'm not that gross. Hey, Ta-da! I can be, but I won't. What's your perfect date out with your man? I think my third date that me and him has ever done would probably be, um, I think my favorite date with my boyfriend was, um, probably when we did a picnic, probably when we did a picnic, because I felt like, um, it was just us, you know, spending time, working on our problems, and, you know, just talk, I just love to talk, and, like, um, get to know someone even though me and him have been together for more than seven years a year it's just like you never know everything about somebody you learn something new every year and it just been like he was him for a very long time you know people clash and you know it was like very good quality time like away from people 
he was the only one really in the park. I knew people barbecue him, but not a really. And I just, I love him. Um, do you want to be married? Yes, I want to be married. Disney or Nickelodeon? I'll say Nickelodeon because they had one brought. I mean, fun, they both had they had the thing. But fun brought undefeated. But don't think Disney had those undefeated, which was my jam. Mm -hmm. Well, it's great. Man. Or even that's so great. That was the show. That show, uh, that show make Disney win. They did that. But, um, I give it to Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon has fun, Bob, they have pretty good parent. Like, they really had, like, the one is a lot. Disney Channel had more, like, Wanna watch a movie, high school movie for uh yeah. like that, but I'm talking about that. I ain't about square man to have me happy while I eat my dinner in the morning to travel. Uh this says what's your favorite song? Break City by Tiger. I know that's random. Break City by Tiger. My childhood career. I was a child, I used to want to be um I wanted to be a lot of things. I wanted to be a cop. I wanted to be a pastor. I wanted to be a basketball player. I wanted to be a rapper. I wanted to be a singer. <laughs> All at once, though. Yeah. The girl was an entrepreneur. She wanted to do everything. She's like, nah, I want to just do everything. I look so crazy on my camera because the, the blush don't even look like it. Yeah. Who my nose is pretty. They don't even like nothing going on over there. Next. Like I bring on. This trophy life of highlighter on is broken to blue. So lightly does fit. I think I'm like a clown right now, but once it gets spread, it's gonna all melt in. Girl. It looks a little crazy right now. 
Be my love. So don't give a fuck. They ain't know me. They ain't know me. 